Hi and welcome back to my channel. I have old Android physical device and in this video, first from the mobile pen testing series, I will show you how to install custom ROM and physical device for day-to-day -day usage and what options are generally available. And first of all, the ultimate goal is to install the most recent Android version available just to make sure that you can cover a lot of different applications because developers tend to discontinue some certain Android version uh, support. And secondly, you want to make sure that your physical device is actually supported by those custom ROMs in this video. So there are three custom UIs that I typically uh, recommend. Uh, first is Pixel Experience. Let's navigate to the website. Let's search for our device. So my is uh, Mi 9T. It's pretty old. Um, and as you see, the latest supported version is uh, just Android 13, which is not good. I mean, it's okay, but you want to make sure that you have something more recent um, just for the sake of running all available applications and not running into issues that something's not supported in a year or two. Um, yeah, you, you, you need to download typically the build itself. Yes, and when, when we got our build downloaded, we can go back to devices and there is an installation guide. So uh, what I like about the Pixel Experience guides that they kind of show you everything from the beginning in terms of like they show you the unlocking the bootloader part, which is not covered by most of the rooms. So I suggest you using uh, at first the Pixel Experience just for the sake of uh, unlocking the bootloader if this option is even available to you. Um, and then moving to the installation of a custom recovery using Fastboot, which is essentially the same for every cust, uh, custom role. And you won't have any differences in any of the installations in this video. So uh, let's download Pixel Recovery. Again, we go in here, we take uh we, we just actually downloaded the build so then we download the recovery image and then we can go back and see uh all the steps in here and in a moment i will show you how uh, to run any of those okay so essentially you install recovery and then using the recovery you install the rom itself and uh, in a moment show you how uh, how does it look okay and we run fast boot command and we put our device in fast boot previously so it gives us the output so it's running and it's working then we flash the recovery we wait a, a little bit so finally the recovery is flashed then we go to factory reset and then we format in the data, which is like deleting everything. After that, we click apply update, apply from ADB. And finally, we can run our ADB sideload command, which will essentially install our custom room. Yeah, and that's it. And then let's move to the evolution installation. So the installation will be you know, typically the same. We need to enter the fast boot mode. Wait a little bit. After that, in the fast boot, we flash our recovery, which is uh, Evolution X recovery. Again, we wait a little bit. Okay, finally, we are in the recovery menu. We can navigate using the side buttons or uh, using the touch. Basically, we delete the data by formatting it. Okay, after it's done, we go back. We click apply update, apply from ADB. And again, we run the same command, but for the Evolution X custom ROM. And yeah, we're in the menu for the recovery and uh, we currently need just click reboot now. And uh, here we go again. We finished the installation of Evolution X. 
and we go into install lineage os typically the installation is the same but at the same time there are some differences uh, first of all uh, the first difference that the lineage os goes without any um, google application so you have to install that separately the good news though that it basically it just the zip file that you can install uh, via the adb side load um, after the installation of the custom rom itself also they have pretty good step-by-step -step guide how to install it on your device so just uh, keep in mind following that as well as for the phone itself when we are in custom rom again we need to press the factory reset then wipe all the data which is like format data after this step everything is the same we need to apply update apply via adb as you can see, I ran the same set of commands that we used for the Pixel experience and for the Evolution X. And it will be the same for everyone, which is essentially fast boot, then flash recovery, our custom recovery, and then we install the lineage. But at the same time, we installed uh, G apps as well. And finally, we installed our lineage OS. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one. Bye.